Hello everyone. Welcome to this tutorial video where we'll delve into our presentation and markup toolkit, a valuable resource for creating dynamic animations of your construction projects. Let's jump right in. To access the toolkit, simply click on Presentation and Markup in the command dock. The toolkit will open up on the left-hand side of your screen. Alternatively, you can find it in the Milestone Manager menu or at the top bar. The side menu will display a list of all milestones containing their respective slides. These slides are saved viewpoints enriched with markups. The final presentation animation will go through each active slide in the order shown on the list. Remember, each milestone must have at least one slide. Add a new slide to the active milestone by clicking the Add Slides button at the top. To edit a slide, click on its card and the editing menu will appear. The command dock items will adapt to show available markup options. Let's explore the available markup items. Click Capture Angle to save the current camera angle to the slide. It's not necessary for every slide, as the presentation inherits the last camera angle for slides without it. Adding new slides to the list will automatically capture the active camera angle. Click on the Callouts button, and then click on a location in your site plan to create a new text markup. A new side menu will appear on the right-hand side to help you customize the callout. Click on the first field to type the text you want to display. Check the box below to add a hyperlink. Use the color picker to define the color of your callout box and sliders below to change the box scale and font size. The horizontal and vertical position sliders define the relative position of the callout box and leader in your site plan. Click on Go to Default to revert the sliders back to their initial position. Additionally, you can choose between different view modes. Define scaling behavior and modify the pointer sphere size. Use the Move and Reposition commands to adjust the global position of the callout. Once you are happy with the results, click the Done button to confirm, or click the Trash Bin button to delete the callout. You can also add the same markups available under the Review menu to your slides. Use the Minimum Distance tool to create a markup measuring the minimum distance between two surfaces. Similarly, the Measure Distance tool will create a markup measuring the distance between two points and its global components. The Section tool will create a sectioning plane parallel to a surface you define, or one of the XYZ planes. You can double-click on the plane to adjust its position, invert the section, or hide it from the view. Use the Sea Level Elevation tool to indicate the absolute sea level reference at a specific point in your site plan. Simply hover your mouse to check the elevation value, and then click on the map to add a sea level indicator as a slide item. You can add as many items as you need to your slides, and they can be managed from the list on the slide menu. Next, let's look at how to edit the time settings of your slides. Slide transition is the time it takes for the camera to transition from the previous slide to the current slide. Slide duration defines how long the slide is displayed within your presentation. You can use the sliders or drop-down menu to define the desired time for each parameter. Click on Apply to all slides if you want these settings to be applied to all the slides in your presentation. Click on Done once your slide is completed and you can activate it by clicking on the slide card. Repeat these steps to create additional slides and build your presentation. Right-click on the slide card for additional actions. Click on the eye icon to remove a slide or the whole milestone from a presentation. You can also set up a cover slide, which will define the first slide displayed as part of your presentation. You will see a new tag will be placed on this card. 
and a cover slide will be added to the top of the slide list, where you can open the menu and access more editing options. It will also add a thumbnail to your site plan scenario in the project page. You can reorder the slides within a milestone by dragging them. Furthermore, use the duplicate action to create a slide using the same items as the original and the export action to export your slides as high-resolution PNG images. Lastly, click the Delete button to remove a slide under the milestone, but note every milestone must have at least one slide. Let's explore customizing your presentation timeline settings. Start by clicking the gear icon located in the left side menu. This opens the presentation settings menu on your right. At the top, there's a handy preview of your current presentation settings, including the label, timeline, and branding. Under the label and timeline tab, choose between calendar date or relative date as your presentation date settings. To hide the timeline, flip the display timeline toggle to off. Choose display date and the date unit from the respective drop-down menus. Checking the Auto Scale Timeline will automatically scale the timeline within the presentation window. Checking the Display Next Milestone Name box will display the upcoming milestone in the presentation label. If you prefer a cleaner look without the milestone labels, simply toggle the Display Label switch to off. If you are on a premium or enterprise subscriptions, you've got access to the branding options. Click the branding tab at the top. From here, you can customize the label background, text, and border colors, along with the timeline color, using the color selection boxes. Toggle to display a logo, be it your company's, your customer's, or any other, within your presentation. Adjust this setting on or off as needed. Make sure to preview the selected presentation settings at the top to ensure everything looks just right. Once you're happy with the adjustments, hit Done. Your presentation is now set to play with all your personalized settings. Click on Play from Beginning to review the presentation. This will activate presentation mode, switching to a full screen window, and displaying the cover slide where you can click on the Play button to start the presentation. You can control the presentation using the pause button, the back and forward arrows and navigate in the 3D space with the default mouse controls. Once the playback is done, you can restart the animation or exit presentation mode. Click the drop down arrow next to play from beginning to review the various playback options. In the next video, we'll explore more ways to share your work with your stakeholders. Thank you for watching. Thank you.